Hello everyone, I'm Benjamin Alford, one of the CTAE digital media instructors here at Data Academy. Yeah, this year has been challenging. It's a lot of things that's been going on, but our fifth and sixth grade have put, put together some of the best composition of their work. So, with that being said, I present to you fifth and sixth grade digital media. <laughs> Okay, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house board. Bored in the house and I'm in the house board. I'm bored in the mug and I'm in the house board. And I'm bored in the mug and I'm in the house board. Bored in the house, bored in the house board. This is what I do in a day. First, I did my game that I had to do for Miss Carrie. I went outside and played for a little bit, a couple hours. That's a little short clip. I'm really good, I think. Pretty sure. So, yeah. I cleaned my room. I made my bed. And then, those are some pictures of it. Um, then... I didn't show what I ate, but I had some chicken and macaroni and bread. I watched the game. That was me going to bed. And yeah, that's the day. That's the morning. So, if we want to talk about quarantine life, quarantine was horrible for me. Don't even get me started. Let's just say, I'm not passing all my classes. Yeah, I got to be in math. But, you know, overall, that's it. Quarantine life is so hard. I'm fat, I'm failing classes, and I haven't been practiced. And I don't know what to do with my life in this house, so, uh, yeah, basically. In my opinion, I just don't think school is for me. <laughs> um, today is a day in the life of Maya. Um, so I wake up and I snooze my alarm. It's usually 8.30 now. I really have to get out of bed. So I get out of bed, and I go put on my glasses. And I got my glasses on doing whatever I'm doing and then walk back and forth questioning what I have to do today I found out what I have to do ha 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 I changed no I didn't because I'm lazy and now I'm looking for my cat because I'm supposed to be feeding her in the morning but realize she's nowhere to be seen and then I get on my computer and then I go beep boop beep boop to do I still think for I had today that day and then boom it's what I do for a day. this time. Finish washing the dishes. Ooh, food. Alright, gotta do some work. Mm. Life of quarantine. Over. Brush some teeth. Now time to go to sleep.
And Nico Ani Dehina Matahi. Bienvenidos. I'm Kaylin Graham. Hi, and I'm Kamaya Belcher. And you've got a got date, a date with, with DNA, DNA News. We are a few weeks into the new school year at Date Academy. Reporting live is Elena. Hi, my name is Elena Gale, and I will be talking about school events. <laughs> Currently, we are in Spirit Week. Did you wear your 90s outfit today? Or 40s, 50s, or 60s? Most of us are in online school. Just like this news call. As Kaylin said, we are a few, few, few weeks into this online school year. I'm Elena, and back to Kamaya. Let's talk about politics, early voting, and why it's so important. Early voting right now is very important so everybody can get equal rights. Right now, our candidates for Senate are Raphael Warnock, John Ossoff, Kelly Loeffler, and David Perdue. And our most recent elected president, Joe Biden. Now on to Yinka. Hi, I'm Yinka, and I'll be going over the coronavirus pandemic. Come on, people. Are you still not washing your hands? You have to remember that we're still in a pandemic here. You also have to respect the boundaries. Keep it six feet apart and cover your face with a face mask. So far in the county of the cab, there have been 22,927 cases and 418 known deaths. With people not able to go back to their jobs, most people are either going, either have bankruptcy or not, they're, not being able to have their uh, needs that they have without the pandemic. Knowing that most kids are still doing online school, most counties are trying to find a way for students to go back. Most taking very nice and neat procedures for their students to stay safe while during the coronavirus pandemic. Listen up guys, this is a rough time we're going through, but we will make it up. Now back on to Kaylin. And you've had a date with DNA News.